Let's talk about Iran. A leaked audio recording has become a national crisis there. The audio clip is of Iran's Foreign Minister Javad Zarif. It portrays Iran's diplomacy being compromised by Iran's military. The leak happened on Sunday. Zarif has finally issued a clarification. He has rejected any references between the army and the bureaucracy. Iran's president, Hassan Rouhani, has backed the foreign minister, calling the leak a conspiracy against the Islamic Republic. Our next report explores if this controversy will impact Iran's upcoming presidential election. And I can the voice you just heard was of Javad Zarif, the foreign minister of Iran since 2013. In this leaked audio clip, he is criticizing Qasim Soleimani, the former commander of Iran's Revolutionary Guards. What for? For the way Soleimani controlled Iran's foreign policy. These remarks were never intended to be broadcast, but they were leaked on Sunday by an alleged pro-Saudi outlet. It has been 48 hours and the controversy has only snowballed. The global media cannot stop discussing it. Javed Zarif has been forced to issue a clarification. In an Instagram post on Wednesday, Zarif included a video of himself at the memorial of Qasem Soleimani in Baghdad. The caption read, I deeply regret how a secret theoretical debate about the need to increase diplomacy in the military turned into an internal conflict. Reducing the theoretical debate on the relationship between the two wings of the Islamic Republic as an excuse for dichotomy between the glorious military and zealous diplomats is short-sighted. As the foreign minister expressed regret, the president was quick to extend his support. Hassan Rouhani said the only aim of the leak was to create discord in the Islamic Republic. <laughs> It was published just when Vienna was on the road to success, to create conflicts in the country. How can we succeed? How can we lift the sanctions? With solidarity, with unity, with divisions and arguments, we can't lift the sanctions. These people are against Iran, against the people, against the interests of Iran. So what happens next? Tehran is going to probe what it calls a conspiracy. Hassan Rouhani has ordered investigators to identify who leaked the stolen three-hour recording because the language used in the audio is rarely heard of in Iranian politics. It portrays Iranian diplomacy as consistently taking a back seat to the interests of the military, something Iran vehemently denies. The president has ordered the intelligence ministry to identify the agents of this conspiracy. We believe that this theft of documents is a conspiracy against the government, the system, the integrity of effective domestic institutions, and also against our national interests. The leak and the probe also comes at a crucial time. Iran is headed for a presidential election in June. President Hassan Rouhani will step down after completing two terms allowed in the constitution. But Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khomeini remains in charge, so the election will be more like a selection. The popular choice for successor is Brigadier Mohammad Bagar Ghalibaf, a former commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. And if we take into account the revelations made by Javed Zarif on the divisions between the army and diplomats, a military man in charge of Iran's executive branch could only make things worse in the future. Bureau Report we on World is One. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.